In this video, I will go through switchboard component of the construction tab. Press home, new, and open a new project. Once you go origin, we're talking about commercial sites, so typically you will have a switchboard. I never use three phase without neutral, so I always use TPNN switchboard. I place the switchboard here. What's important is physical size of the switchboard dictates how many ways it has. Only applicable to switchboard. If you increase its size, you will have more circuits. You can have more circuits. Let's look into a switchboard in a bit more detail. The options might be different depending whether you already set your switchboard template or not. I am using switchboard which has been preset in a template editor. Double click on a switchboard. A new window will open with the board details at the first option. I prefer to start with a name, edit it by pressing the pen and go non-standard and enter the preferred name. Once you have your name set, decide whether you need the switchboard to be one section or more. At the moment it's one section. If I add more by pressing the button, I can create more sections. So typically there will be one, two or three sections. I've got three sections. I expand my switchboard and you can just drag the bus couplers where you want them. So they represent the installation you're working on. You can create more space for outgoing waste. The switchboard can have multiple supplies. You've got three sections. You will have two transformers and maybe one generator. You can connect them to your switchboard. Only one of them is active. The ones which are red, they are not active. You can make them active by right clicking and go set up active source. What's quite important is the main name of the switchboard is LV1. And then each section has a numbers one, two, and three. You can edit, you can go essential, For example, critical, non-essential. That's just an example. As you can see, the in camera here is, cl is closed. All the other two are open. You can change that by clicking on them. When I closed this in camera, automatically the active source has also changed. If I go to generator, click on that. The active source is generator and the others are open. I can also have open coupler by clicking on this bus coupler. I've opened it. You can only have one active source, but you can open and close the couplers. Let's go back to the switchboard, double click on the switchboard. So we've got board details. You see the references have changed to from one, two, three to essential, critical, non-essential. You can edit that here as well. Let me just move this to the side so you can see. Let's just copy that, Control C, delete non-essential, and I'll edit that, Control V, essential. And okay that. You see now this is non-essential, that's essential. Let's double click on the switchboard again. Default protected device, because I've got this set in my template, my default protected device is either compact NSX MCCBs, type N, which means they're rated 50 kA. And then protection rating is, is very, very much project specific, so that will need to be changed manually. Circuits. At the moment, I only have the incoming circuits. You've got status in here. You can, you can change that by closing, opening it manually, or do it through the uh, graphical interface. Board loading method, I always have uh, the detailed design loads, meaning all the cables connected to it are being calculated. Diversity, I always have this set to one when I create the system, when the electrical system is actually created and all my loads, whether they're connected or estimated, are actually there. Only then I start applying uh, diversity at distribution board or switchboard level. Earthing, always have earth at the supply source on me. Most typical display results. This was already enabled by my template, but if it's not, 
make sure you enable that here. I'm typically interested in the design current. So you don't need to change anything else. Press OK. If your load value is displayed vertically, you can obviously manually change it, but it would make sense to go to project settings, drawing, annotation, and change the bottom display results to horizontal. Okay. Thank you for watching.